When people think of Arduino, they usually picture a few familiar boards, like the Uno, Nano, or Mega. They're the go-to choices for beginners. Simple, reliable, and backed by tons of community support. But here's the thing. Arduino's lineup goes way beyond those classics. There are official boards that are more powerful, more compact, and designed for advanced tasks like AI, machine learning, and long-range wireless communication. So in this video, we'll take a look at some of the lesser-known Arduino boards and explore some great projects made using them. So let's start with the Portenta series. The Portenta H7 is one of the most powerful boards in the Arduino lineup. It's built for advanced projects that need serious processing power, like computer vision, edge AI, robotics, and industrial automation. What sets it apart is its dual-core processor, a Cortex-M7 running at 480 MHz and a Cortex-M4 at 240 MHz. These two cores can run tasks in parallel. For example, one core can handle a motor controller while the other runs a neural network or a user interface. You can even run Arduino code and MicroPython at the same time. It's compatible with Arduino IoT Cloud and supports TensorFlow Lite, so you can train and run AI models directly on the board. Here's a vehicle security camera made by Solomon Githu that can detect people in real time. A custom object detection model, trained using Edge Impulse, runs directly on the board. The system captures video through the Vision Shield's onboard camera and uses a person detection model to identify if someone is near the vehicle. When detection occurs, the Portenta H7 automatically sends an email to the set email address and alerts the user. The Portenta X8 is a hybrid between an embedded Linux computer and a real-time microcontroller on a single board. That's what makes it unique in the Arduino lineup. It runs Linux on a quad-core processor and also includes an STM32 microcontroller with Cortex-M7 and M4 cores. This lets you build powerful edge computing applications where one side handles high-level tasks, like web servers, databases, or ML models, while the other handles real-time control. It's ideal for high-end IoT gateways, industrial controllers, edge AI systems, and advanced automation projects. Now let's look at a project shared by Foundries.io. It is a self-illuminating Christmas tree that turns its lights on or off based on whether a person is in the room. A webcam connected to the Portenta X8 captures video, and a machine learning model, trained using Edge Impulse, detects human presence. Once someone is detected, the board sends a signal through MQTT to switch the lights on. When the room is empty, it switches them off. The Portenta X8 runs the entire system locally using its Linux-based OS with no need for cloud processing. The Portenta C33 is the most affordable board in the Portenta lineup. It's built around a RA6M5 microcontroller and supports Wi-Fi and Bluetooth low energy. Unlike other Portenta boards that support Linux or multiple cores, the C33 sticks to a single-core microcontroller. It can run Arduino Sketches, MicroPython, and TensorFlow Lite like the other two boards. It's also compatible with the Arduino IoT Cloud, so you can easily deploy dashboards, monitor devices, and send alerts remotely. Samuel made a smart recycling bin that sorts waste using AI-based audio classification. The system detects the sound made when an item is thrown into the bin. An external Nikola voice captures the sound, and a trained ML model classifies the type of material, like glass, metal, or plastic, based on the impact noise. The Portenta C33 handles cloud communication via Arduino Cloud, reporting the bin's fill level and sending alerts when it's time to empty it. This turns a single bin into a connected unit that can be part of a citywide smart waste system. When it comes to building electronics projects, you need a PCB service that's affordable and reliable. That's JLC PCB, your trusted source for professional PCB and PCBA services. Ordering is simple. Upload your Gerber file, 
get an instant quote, and place your order in minutes. They also offer full-service manufacturing, from PCB customization to assembly, all in one place. You can get one to eight layer PCBs for just $2, with fast, efficient production that keeps costs low. Everything is made in-house with strict quality control, and orders are trackable every step of the way. With 24-hour turnaround and dependable delivery, JLC PCB delivers both speed and quality. Now, let's look at some of the boards from the Maker series. The Maker NB1500. This board is designed for one specific purpose, connecting your Arduino project to the internet from almost anywhere without Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Instead of relying on local networks, it uses NB-IoT and LTEM, two low-power cellular technologies built for IoT. This is made possible by the U-Block SARA module integrated directly into the board. Keep in mind that not all SIM cards support NB-IoT or LTEM, so check with your mobile carrier before buying. Now let's look at a project shared by Diode Magazine. They built a gas detection system using three sensors, MQ4 for methane, MQ6 for LPG, and MQ7 for carbon monoxide, all connected to the board. The board uses a local LTEM SIM card to send data over the cellular network, removing the need for Wi-Fi or wired internet. Real-time gas readings from the sensors are sent to the Arduino IoT cloud, where the data can be monitored from anywhere. The Maker Van 1310 stands out because it brings LoRa connectivity to Arduino projects, allowing devices to send data over long distances without Wi-Fi or cellular. This makes it a strong choice for remote, low-power applications like weather stations, agriculture sensors, and smart city devices. It uses a Murata LoRa module and a SAM D21 microcontroller. It has a built-in charging circuit for lithium polymer batteries and draws very low current in sleep mode. It also includes two megabyte flash storage for logging sensor data locally if the connection is down. One major benefit is that it works with both public and private LoRaWAN networks, so you can choose whether to connect through a community network like the Things Network or run your own gateway. Keep in mind that LoRa itself isn't made for fast or large data. It's meant for small packets sent occasionally. Also, to get data to the internet, you'll need a LoRaWAN gateway, which is a separate device and adds to the setup cost. Now let's look at a project made by Andreas. It is an outdoor IoT weather station that sends sensor data over LoRa. It uses an ENV shield that measures temperature, humidity, pressure, UVA, UVB, and UV index. All this data is transmitted through LoRaWAN using an Arduino Pro gateway and sent to the Arduino IoT cloud, allowing real-time monitoring from a smartphone. The system is powered through a 2,600 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery with a better power optimization that reduces the board's standby current to just 0.92 milliamps, making it suitable for long-term outdoor use. The Maker Vitor 4000 is different from most Arduino boards because it is the only one that includes an FPGA chip on board. The FPGA is combined with the familiar SAM D21 microcontroller. It even includes an HDMI port that you will not find in other Arduino boards. This board is meant for advanced use cases like high-speed signal processing, video generation, or creating your own peripherals. However, working with the FPGA requires external tools like Intel's Quartus software and beginner-friendly resources are limited. Plus, since Arduino has discontinued this board, Availability is limited to third-party sellers only. The Element 14 community shared this digital music jukebox that requires a 16x2 LCD display, passive buzzers, and LEDs. The jukebox lets users select songs, which are played through the buzzers while the LCD shows the current track. The LEDs add visual feedback for the playback. The FPGA handles the parallel tasks of managing display output, sound timing, and LED control, while the SAM D21 microcontroller runs the main logic. Next, we have the Nikla series. 
a family of tiny boards ideal for smart, low-power sensing applications in compact spaces. Whether it's AI, audio, vision, or environmental data, each board has something special. All four Nikla boards come with onboard microcontrollers, but only three can be fully programmed and run independently. Here's a quick look at all four. Nikla Sense ME. This board features an onboard ARM Cortex M4 core and is built for precision sensing in motion and environmental monitoring. It features Bosch SensorTex sensors, including a 9-axis IMU, barometric pressure, temperature, humidity, and air quality sensors. This project by Alex recognizes handwritten numbers in the air using motion data without needing any screen or paper. The setup works like an accelerometer-based pen. When the user writes a number in the air, the triaxial accelerometer captures motion data, which is processed on the Cortex M4 microcontroller. A tiny ML model, trained using the Newton platform, runs directly on the Nikla to classify digits from 0 to 9. Despite the complexity of in-air writing, the model, only 1 kilobyte in size, was able to achieve highly accurate results in real time with no external processing. Nikla Vision. It features a camera, a powerful dual-core STM32H7 microcontroller, and various sensors. It's built for computer vision projects like object detection, activity monitoring, and security systems. Jacob built this driver drowsiness detection system using computer vision and AI. The hardware setup includes just the Nikla Vision mounted on a tripod, along with a buzzer and LED for alerts. A trained machine learning model, built with Edge Impulse, runs directly on the Nikla Vision to monitor the driver's eyes through its onboard camera. If the system detects that the eyes are closed for two seconds or more, it triggers a buzzer or LED alert to warn the driver. All the processing is handled locally without any internet or cloud connection. Nikla Voice. This board features an onboard ARM Cortex M4 core and is designed for voice recognition and sound classification. It features a high-performance audio front end and runs tiny ML models for wake word detection or noise sensing. Becky Stern made a working replica of Penny's video watch from the famous animated series, Inspector Gadget. The hardware includes a 1.69-inch TFT display, LiPo battery, and a 3D printed watch case. She trained a machine learning model using Edge Impulse and recorded multiple samples of the phrase, come in, brain. This wake word model is then loaded onto the Nikla voice. So now, whenever someone says the phrase, the Nikla voice detects it and responds by showing an image of the dog brain on the screen. Nikla Sense ENV. While it does have a microcontroller, isn't meant to be programmed or run standalone. Instead, it functions as a smart sensor module that must be connected to a host board like the Portenta or MKR via the Eslov interface. It provides data for temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, and gas levels, acting more like an intelligent peripheral than an autonomous board. Now let's look at a tutorial given on the Arduino website. Here, a Nikla Sense ENV connected to a Portenta C33 to build a compact air quality monitor. It tracks temperature, humidity, nitrogen dioxide, ozone, and calculates the air quality index, all in real time. Data is displayed in the Arduino IDE's serial monitor, and the onboard RGB LED gives instant feedback on air quality levels using different colors. The setup connects to the Arduino cloud, so the readings can also be accessed remotely. If you found this video helpful, then drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. See you soon. Goodbye.